first place, I think the Mountain Medical Center is a very safe place to go. There is a good quality of specialistic care in this hospital. If you ask me about what I think about the future of St. Martin Medical Center, I think that after going through this difficult period with the hospital, especially in the past four or five years, uh, all parties have realized that this community deserves a good hospital. And I think that we are now reaching the breaking point that everybody is very serious concerning the future of St. Martin Medical Center. Uh, what I think uh, we have changed in our thinking about this hospital is that we have realized that healthcare costs a lot of money. And in the past, they, they used to think that it's, it's a self-supporting system that the hospital could manage with its own resources to, to serve the community with care. Mm -hmm. I can tell you St. Martin Medical Center is a, a very particular community where you have a lot of illegals with all respect, nice people working hard here in St. Martin. You have a large group of uninsured patients, not only patients that are illegal here, but mm -hmm. also people that are legal here that do not have an insurance that come to the hospital because they got an injury or they, are, they were involved in an accident. If we take all these in consideration, I think if we, the government, island government, that is doing his part, I can tell you, the central government, and I think even the Dutch government, if all of them contribute their part for this hospital in a simple way as a s structural subsidy for the hospital, I think St. Martin Medical Center will have a wonderful future as an institution to serve healthcare to, to the community.